Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made and every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. And he is so worthy. Yes, he is. He is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I can't do it without Jesus. I can't make it without Jesus. I can't even comprehend without Jesus. I don't know if I'm coming or going if I don't have Jesus. I need him every second, every minute, every hour of my life because Jesus is my everything. Jesus should be your everything, my brothers and sisters. He should always be your first love. There should, there should nothing or anyone should ever come before Jesus. There should be nothing or anyone should ever come before Jesus. He is your everything. He is our healer. He is our provider. And he is our protector. He is king of kings. And he is lord of lords. Every day is a day for every last one of us. For us continue to draw closer to the Lord. For us continue to seek him. Pour our heart out to him. And to trust him. Because what? He is our everything. Jesus is our everything. And if you know that Jesus is your everything, give him some praise right now, wherever you at. Give him some glory right now today, wherever you at. Worship his holy name, wherever you at right now today. Lift him up with thanksgiving and praise right now. Amen? Amen. So that's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us, and he has us engraved in the palm of his hands, and he is working everything out. Yes, he is. He is so good. He is so awesome. He is so mighty, and he is so powerful. Amen? Amen. And if you are not welcoming the Lord into your home or to your life or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today. Please do so. He is waiting on you. Please return back to your first love. Amen? Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you're guiding us and directing us. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're ordering our steps. We thank you, Father God, that we can always, always seek you, Father God. We always praise you. We always glorify you, God. We always can pour our heart out to you, Father God. Oh, Father God, it's not too hard for you. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. Oh, Father God, we come to you right now today, Father God, with our hearts open up to you right now today, Father God, because some of our hearts right now today, Father God, is heavy right now today, Father God. We got a lot going on right now today, Father God. We under a lot of scrutiny right now. We under a lot of pain right now. We up under a lot of stress right now. Father God, we don't know what to do right now today, Father God, but to come to you right now today, Father God, to pour a heart out to you, Father God. You know our pain. You know our suffering. You know our struggles. You know our situation, Father God. You know our circumstances, Father God. And Father God, we are casting everything to you right now today, Father God, because we know for a fact that it's only you, Father God, that understand. It's only you, Father God, who can get us out of this situation today, Father God. So, Father God, we just coming to you right now today, Father God, with open arms and with our open hearts to you right now today, Father God. That, God, that you will come through, God, that you will provide, God, that you will make a way out of no way, Father God. That, Father God, it's not too hard. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love. We thank you, Father God, for the patience that you 
you have for us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message right now today, Father God, that's going to keep us full today, going to keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that we're to be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God. Lift me up with thanksgiving and praise, glorifying your name, magnifying your name, Father God. And Father God, we just thank you, Father God, that we can always talk to you about anything, anything, God, whatever it is on our mind, God, we can talk to you, God. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing that we're going to receive this season, the breakthrough that we're going to receive in this season, the miracle that we're going to receive in this season, the open doors, Father God, that you're opening for us right now there in this season. We thank you, Father God, for that fresh new anointing, God, that you bless us with today, God. We thank you, Father God, how you continue to fill our cup up, Father God, that it continue to overflow right now today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the connection and the resources. We thank you, Father God, how you're going to put us at the right place at the right time in this season, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for, for your love. We thank you, Father God, for the help, God, that you're sending us, sending us to us right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, let your will be done today. Father God, let your words go out and it should, it should not return by void today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you're a King of kings. You're a Lord of lords, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment that I know for a fact that you're about to show up, that I know for a fact that you're about to show out, Father God. I believe and I declare, I decree right now today, Father God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And Heavenly Father God, you will and you should get all the things, all the praise and all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord, right here in your sanctuary, right here, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in our life right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to move supernaturally in our life right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to open up some doors for us right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to make a way out of no way right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to show up and show out in our life right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for this miracle right now today, Father God, for the rain, the rain down on us right now today. I'm thanking you, Father God, to lift us up right now today, Father God, as you continue to lift us up, God, continue to move through us, God, continue to touch us, God, continue to anoint our head right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for faith right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today to send us a sign right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, send us an angel right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just put our faith, we put our trust, we put our hope in you, Father God, because we stand on your words, we stand on your promises, God, that you will come through, God. And God, we know that you're making the way out of no way. Oh, Father God, we know that you are moving in our life right now. Oh, Father God, we know that you're about to do something amazing in our life right now. Oh, Father God, we just we just open up our heart to you right now today, Father God. We trust you right now today, Father God, that, Father God, you're going to do exactly, Father God, what you said that you're going to do, Father God. And we stand on your words right now. We stand on your promise right now. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in this sanctuary, right here on this YouTube channel, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we kiss the Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to touch us like you never touched us before. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you right now today. Holy Spirit, I imagine you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire through the sermon through the service right now today. Heavenly Father God, as we repent of our sins today, please forgive us for our sin today, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow right now. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean state. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for understanding. Thank you, Father God, for giving us peace. Thank you, Father God, that you always be right there for us, God. Glory be to God. Heavenly Father God, words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray. Praise and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today, Father God, and one body in Christ today. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service, I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you. There's something that stays in my spirit about you. There's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you, I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't think 
thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't 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 thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. I know it's been difficult. I know it's been painful. I know it's been stressful. I know that some of us, we have doubted. We even have questioned God from time to time. Because no matter what we try to do right, it seems like we're still losing. No matter what we try to do, it seems like doors are still getting closed in our face. You know, it seems like no matter what we try to do, it seems like that we can never get ahead. And we're thinking that God has turned his back on us. We're thinking that God is upset with us. We're thinking that God really don't have time for us. But I can guarantee you and I can rest assured on this right now today, my brothers and sisters. God has not turned his back on us. God has not forgotten about us. God is always with us, no matter what. Even though it seems the way that it seems, God is still with us through it all. And we can always count on that. We can depend on that. We can rest assured on that. And he spoke this word. He spoke this word to me so vividly clear. He said, in this next season, in this next season, <coughs> you will not receive any more losses. In this next season, you will not receive any more disappointments. In this next season, you ain't got to worry about doors being closed in your face. There's going to be doors open in your face. In this next season, you ain't never got to question him anymore. In this next season, you ain't got to doubt him anymore. In this next season, you ain't got to stress about anything anymore. You ain't got to worry about anything anymore. And I said, but God, why? We don't have to do that anymore. Because in this next season that's coming up that I want y'all to claim right now, he said it's going to be called your winning season. He said no longer will you ever lose everything ever again because God is about to show up and God is about to show out in your life. He has seen your faith all the way to the end. He has seen you go through disappointments. He has seen you go through loss. He has seen you go through setbacks. He's seen you go through trials and tribulations, but you still kept your faith. You still kept your sanity. You still kept seeking him. You still kept praising him. You still kept glorifying him. You still kept getting on your knees and you was praying each and every day. You still was opening up your Bible and you was reading every day. You still was pouring your heart at the Jesus even though that you was going through what you was going through and it seemed like that you had a rope around your neck. It seemed like that suicide was calling your name, but you say forget you suicide. You say forget you rope. You say forget your disappointment. You say forget you pain. You say forget you stress. Forget you because I know who my God is. And we kept seeking and we kept pressing in and the more, you, the more that you continue to seek and the more that you continue to press in, God was watching you. God had took notice of your faith, my sisters, and he has took notice of your faith, my brothers, and he is rest assuring you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that there's no way that he can never continue to put you off anymore, that he got to come through, that he have to bring justice to you right now. So that's why he is saying right now, help me to stay in Jesus. He said, no longer will you receive any more losses. This is your winning season. He needs you to walk into your winning season. He needs you to praise in your winning season. He needs you to glorify his name in his winning season. You, he needs you to sing glory and hallelujah right now today because this is your winning season. And if you believe in your hearts of hearts, glory and hallelujah, that this is your winning season, say thank you, Jesus. I know this is my winning season. And I know how painful it's been. I know how stressful it's been because you've been looking, you've been looking, you've been searching, you've been searching, and you've been asking God over and over again, God, where you at? Why I'm still going through this pain? He was only testing you, my sisters. He was only testing you, my brothers, just to see what you're going to do. But God said, I know what you made out of. He knew what you was made out of. That's why you went through what you went through. He would never allow you to go through it if he was not going to see you get through it. 
He put that much on you. Not only that he know that you can bear it, but he said, I'm going to get you through it. So through all of that pain, through all of that stress, through all of that worrying, through all of the, the doors being closed and, and setbacks and losses, God was still right there preparing you and coaching you and getting you through it. He still was right there. So that's why he's telling you right now today, you will not receive any more losses. We are claiming our winning season right now. We are way overjoyed because this is our winning season right now. And we are giving you thanks, we're giving you praise, and we're giving you glory right now today, Father God, because this is our winning season right now. Yes, it is. I mean right now. Glory be to God. This is our winning season. And if you know this is your winning season, say thank you, Jesus. I know for a fact that this is my winning season. Glory be to God. God is so awesome. He is so amazing. I'm going to tell you why he's saying this is your winning season. Can you please turn your Bibles to Luke 18? And we're going to read verses 6. 6 through 8. It's Luke 18. And we're going to read verses 6 through 8. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God Listen to this. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out? The Lord has been hearing you cry out day in and day out. He's been hearing you. He has took notice of you. And he's been with you. Cry out to him day in and day out. So by God been listening to you cry to him day in and day out, how much longer do you think God is going to continue to put you off? How much long do you think God's going to sit there and act like he don't hear you? He already heard you. He already took notice. So that's why he's telling you right now today, my sisters. That's why he's telling you right now today, my brothers, that you will not receive any more losses. That you will be winning. All you're going to do is win. You're going to be winning in your finances. You're going to be winning in your health. You're going to be winning in your dreams. You're going to be winning in your business. You're going to be winning in your school. You're going to be winning in your relationship. You're going to be winning in your marriages. Everything about you, you're going to have a win-win to it. You're going to have a win-win attached to your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit. That's all you're going to be doing is winning, winning, and people are going to be like, how did where she get this? How did where he get that? Because all the losses that you took, you took it like a chief. You took it like a grown man and a grown woman did, and you did not falter. You still kept your faith, and you kept seeking, you kept praising him. And when God took notice of that, he said, I got to put a win-win attached to my son. I got to put a win-win attached to my daughter. So no matter what you do, no matter what you touch, you automatically, is you're going to win. And people are going to be wondering, like, how in the world he get this? Is he lucky? No, he ain't lucky. No, she ain't lucky. They are blessed and they are highly favored. That's all what it is because God has attached win-win to you, my brothers and sisters. Glory be to God. Who cry out to him day in and day, day night. Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see. Look at his promise now. He will see that they get the justice and quickly. God is making sure that you're going to get the justice. God is going to make sure that's going to happen quickly, supernatural. That's going to happen overnight. It's going to take about a quick second. He's going to make sure that you get everything that you need and more because what you had to encounter, what you had to endure in your lose-lose situation, in your lose-lose season, God's going to make sure that all things and everything is going to work out to your good, my brothers and sisters. He's going to make sure of that. That's why you always going to win. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Just sit back and you can chill. You can relax. And I know we only human. And I know we say, but, but we've been going through. We've been going. And I understand it. God understand. I'm in the same boat with y'all. But I know for a fact this is our win-win season. I know for a fact that God cannot continue to put us off because his words say that. And his word said he got to come through quick, quickly because why? He got to bring justice to us because what we've been going through. The average man and the average woman could not and would not have been able to go through what you and I had to go through through these last couple of seasons. But look at us now. We're still right here. 
We didn't throw in the towel. We kept seeking him. We didn't throw in the towel. We kept pressing him. We didn't throw in the towel. We kept pouring our heart at him. We didn't throw in the towel. We kept praising. We kept we kept glorifying him. We kept seeking him. We kept trusting him. We never threw in the towel, even though we wanted to. Even though, yes, it was painful. Yes, yes, it was. It was stressful. Yes, it was. We were going through some things, but we still kept our eyes focused on Jesus. We still was pouring our heart out to him. We still was seeking him with everything that we had and everything that we got. We said, God, we're going to continue to trust you no matter what the situation might look like. We are going to continue to trust you because we know who you are. We know for a fact it's not too hard. We know for a fact it's not too difficult. Father God, we know that you're going to come through. Father God, we know that you're going to provide. Father God, you are a healer. You are protecting. You are a provider. So, Father God, we stand on your words each and every day. We stand on your promises each and every day. And God, we know that you are a miracle God. You are God that can make things happen out of nothing. So, God, we know that what you are doing right now, you are turning things around and you are attached win-win to our season. Because I can tell you right now today, my brothers and sisters, this is our winter season. And if you believe and you declare right now today, this is your winter season, say thank you, Jesus. I know for a fact that this is my winter season. And if you know God is talking to you, and you know he's talking to you, you like what you heard today, go and hit the like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life. To guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. If I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to pour your heart out to him. Continue to trust him. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm seven minutes LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory and holy mighty name. Amen.